In Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17, the Bible says, But upon Mosiah there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. I want you to declare to yourself, say, in this month, I shall possess my possessions. In this month, you will possess your possessions in the name of Jesus. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point loud and clear. I bind every power delegated to hinder my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I bind every power delegated to hinder my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I bind them. Every power delegated assigned against my breakthrough, I bind them. I bind them. I bind them. I bind every power delegated to hinder my breakthrough, to hinder my success, to hinder my favor, to hinder my advancement. I bind them. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. This is Joshua Oreke. We are looking on a very important topic, and the topic is benefit of deliverance. Benefit of deliverance, or what can deliverance do for you? What can deliverance do for you? The Bible says, but upon Zion there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. Some problems will not go until deliverance is infected. Deliverance is very important in our life because through deliverance, many good things can be effected. Some problems in our lives cannot go away until deliverance is taking place. Some causes will not be broken until deliverance is manifested in our life. Some issues of life, some problems, the arrows of the enemy will not go until deliverance is effected in our life. Some bad dreams, Nightmares will not go away until deliverance is effected. Stagnation will not go away until deliverance is effected. Without holiness, deliverance will not come. Until you devote yourself to Christ, until you meet the right prophet, until you go for deliverance ministrations, then that problem will linger on in someone's life. So it's just like when you are taking the right medication, for your problem but when you are taking the wrong medication for your problem for your illness you are not going to get healed anytime soon the problem will be getting more complicated why because you are using the wrong medication for that sickness the same thing happens in the school of deliverance when you are passing through one problem or the other you need to go for deliverance there are several types of deliverance we have personal deliverance we have corporate deliverance we have deliverance by touching someone's head. We have deliverance by prophecy. We have deliverance by prayers. We have deliverance by interceding. So different forms of deliverance today. So we are going to tell you what can deliverance do for you or what are the benefits of deliverance. After going for deliverance ministration, what happened during the time or the process of deliverance? So I want you to get yourself ready as we alight each, each point. Number one, deliverance will bring destruction to satanic works. Deliverance will bring destruction to satanic works because during the time of deliverance is the time of termination, is the time of destruction of every satanic work, every satanic plan, every satanic programming in your life because deliverance is light. Darkness is the devil. So when you are being delivered, which means God has taken you away from the kingdom of darkness, deliverance will surely bring total destruction to every satanic work in your life. That is the one thing deliverance will do for you. Every satanic work in your life will be paralyzed, will be shattered to pieces, to destruction. All the things they have been using, the causes, the vodo, or all the people that have been laying cause upon you and other things like that, but through the process of deliverance, the work of darkness will be aborted in Jesus' name. Number two reasons or two steps that deliverance is good for you is deliverance will cleanse, purify, and heal you. Deliverance will cleanse, purify, and heal you. Because during the time of deliverance is the time of cleansing. 
cleansing away all the rubbish, all the problems of life that have found themselves into your life. During a time of deliverance, everything that has to do with purging, everything that has to do with eliminating, anything that has to do with getting rid, anything that has to do with uprooting, anything that has to do with breaking, anything that has to do with making someone's clean, cleansing is very, very important. And deliverance will make sure you are purified. You are no longer in sin again. You are not purified. You are not carrying the new image of Christ. You are not carrying the glory of God. You are not carrying the light of God. That is what deliverance can do for you. After cleansing you, you will be purified. Your life will be clean. You will be purified. Your life will be clean. People will be attracted to you. People will remember you. People will like to favor you. Why? Deliverance has taken place in your life. Cleansing, purification, and deliverance will heal you. Deliverance will heal you from that sickness, from that disease, from that infirmity. Deliverance will heal you from that problems. You were going to a church, you were meeting a man of God for a problem. Deliverance is the process of solution to your problems. Deliverance will heal you. The Bible says Jesus Christ sent his word and his word he let thee. May God Almighty heal you from that sickness, from that depression. May God Almighty restore you again. May that season of anxiety, season of depression and pains in your life, expire. May God cleanse you. May God purify you. May God heal you completely in Jesus' name. Number three things that deliverance can do for you is deliverance will transform you looking new and fresh. Deliverance will transform your life. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ is a new creature, all things have passed away. All things have passed away and new things have become new. This is what deliverance can do for you. Deliverance can make you whole. Deliverance can transform your life, physical life, spiritual life. Deliverance will make you new and fresh. After cleansing, after purification, deliverance will change your life positively. All the whole rubbish, all the old nonsense in your life, all the mess in your life, deliverance will take them away. Deliverance will eliminate all those things and transform your life. Deliverance will wash away your sins and make you whole, looking new and fresh before you were in the world. But after deliverance, you are now new in Christ. You are now new before God. So deliverance can change your life forever. Number four things that deliverance can do for you is deliverance can make your spiritual life more vibrant. Yes, deliverance can make your spiritual life more vibrant. That is, your spiritual life will become active. Your spiritual life will be fruitful. Your spiritual life will be working productively. After the section of the process of deliverance, your prayer life will increase. Your prayer life will be improved. Your Bible study life will be improved. Your speaking in tongues will be improved. The way you praise God, the way you worship God will improve. Why? After the session of deliverance, God has delivered you from captivity. God has delivered you from the host of wickedness. God has delivered you from that cause. God has delivered you from sin. God has delivered you from wickedness. What do you think might happen to you? A new beginning, of course, yes. And your spiritual life will become more vibrant, more productive. You will now be having more good understanding, having smooth relationship with God. Why? You now begin to see Christ as a new person in your life. Why? God has not changed your whole perspective to a new perspective. Your spiritual life will become more interesting. You, you will not be finding it very difficult to pray, very difficult to fast, very difficult to sing, very difficult to do the things of God. Everything will go on very easy. Why? Deliverance of God has taken place in your life. Number five, deliverance will give you dominion over your enemy. It will give you dominion over your enemy. Yes. The Bible says, the devil has come, but God has given us power to destroy the works of darkness. Deliverance can give you dominion, total victory over the works of the enemy. Yes, over the works of the enemy. Deliverance is victory. Deliverance is freedom. Deliverance is healing. Deliverance is having, you know, having an edge over your enemy. Deliverance is oppressing and suppressing the head of your enemy. This is what deliverance can do for you. Deliverance can give you edge. Deliverance can give you power over your enemy. 
Deliverance is giving you power to defeat him, your enemies. So what you will expect after deliverance is dominion, victory over your enemy. Because victory is now yours. God has fought your battle and you have hold your peace. And which means that God has won the battle for you. That means that all the problems you have been battling with, all the issues of life, all the attack, all the causes, the sin that have become gods in your life, all those negative symptoms that have been manifested in your life, but after deliverance, you will take dominion over them. I pray, may you have dominion over your enemies and over that sin in Jesus' name. Number six, deliverance will give you quick breakthrough. Quick breakthrough. Your breakthrough will be very quick. Your deliverance can give you quick breakthrough, quick healing, quick success, quick deliverance, quick restoration. For some people, deliverance, after going for deliverance, in the process of deliverance, it can give them quick breakthrough. Number seven, deliverance will make you to be favored. After your deliverance, favor will come. Remembrance. Good people will be talking about you. No more failure in your life. People will like to help you. People will like to favor you. People will like to promote you. People will like to, you know, to dash you something. People would like to be associated with you. Why? Because the mark, the hall of divine favor is upon your life. Why? Because you carry the power of God. Why? Because you carry the grace and the anointing of God. Why? Because you carry the light of God. People will like to favor you. People will not rest until they favor you, until they put you in a high place of authority. People, you, you, you will be favored in the midst of crowd. That is what deliverance can do for you. Number eight, deliverance can give you joy and peace over that battle. Deliverance can give you joy. Joy, you have been delivered. Yes, deliverance is associated with joy, happiness, celebration, and peace over that battle. The Bible says, come unto me and the Lord Almighty will give you rest. Deliverance, it will give you joy. It will give you happiness, celebration. And, deliver and deliverance, and a time of deliverance is a time of rejoicing. A time of deliverance is a time of winning the battle, of winning your enemies. A time of deliverance is a time of recovering all. It's a time of the ending of your battle, the ending of that affliction in your life. I pray every problem in your life, every nonsense in your life shall turn to miracle in Jesus' name. Number nine, deliverance can make you to possess your possessions. Make you to possess your possessions. The Bible says they shall possess their possessions after deliverance, after having a good standing with the Holy Spirit. Ten, lastly, deliverance can lead to your open heaven. Your open heaven. Your open heaven. Deliverance can lead to your open heaven. In fact, before your deliverance, your heaven would have been open to release blessings deliverance and favor upon your life. So it is very necessary as children of God to go for deliverance. Deliverance is not only limited to those who are possessed by marine spirits or those who are bewitched or those who are initiated by witchcraft or those who are involving themselves in, 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 in dirty business or something. Deliverance is something like a process of getting yourself renewed, your mind renewed, your body renewed, your spirit renewed. Your soul renewed. You want, to, you want to be transformed. You want to look clean before the Holy Spirit. You want your spiritual life to be improved, your prayer life to be improved. That is deliverance. You want to repent from your sin. A time of deliverance is a time of repentance from sin. Deliverance is, to, is a step away from that particular place where you don't like to a more you know, comfortable and convenient place where you will enjoy or you can access the blessings of God. Deliverance can open doors to your favor, open doors to your success, open doors to your upliftment in life, open doors to fruitfulness, open doors to breakthrough in your life. So if you are having problems in your life, it is very necessary you associate yourself with a man of God or go for a deliverance administration. And I pray, may the Lord Almighty reveal the right prophet to you and reveal the right church you should go for your deliverance to be effected in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. 
Say prayer for number one, loud and clear. Say every power that wants me to remain in bondage, die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to remain in bondage, die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to remain in bondage, die, 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 in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to remain in bondage, die in Jesus' name. Two, every power preventing my deliverance, die in the name of Jesus. Every power preventing my deliverance, die, die, die. Open your mouth and pray. Every power, pre every power preventing my deliverance, die, die, die. Open your mouth and pray. Every power preventing my deliverance, preventing my success, preventing my victory, die, 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 die. In Jesus' name. Three, oh God arise and deliver me from my stubborn problems. In the name of Jesus, Oh God arise, deliver me from my stubborn problems in the name of Jesus. Oh God arise, deliver me from my stubborn problems. Deliver me from my stubborn problems. Deliver me from my stubborn problems in the name of Jesus. Oh God my Father, deliver me from my stubborn problems. Deliver me from my stubborn problems in Jesus' name. For lastly, let the power of deliverance take place in my family in the name of Jesus. Let the power of deliverance take place in my family in the name of Jesus let the power of deliverance take place in my family take place in my family take place in my family in the name of Jesus the power of deliverance take place in my family in Jesus name it is done amen i pray the lord almighty will deliver you will deliver your family will deliver you from that negative dream will deliver you from that sin will deliver you from that pollution will deliver you from that marriage we deliver you from that financial disgrace, that embarrassing situation in your life. In Jesus' name, it is settled. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. This is Evangelist Joshua Oreke. God bless you.